Hey, welcome back to Short Punky's channel. This is Short Punky here. Today I'm with my hubby Squishy, and today we're going to do uh, Would You Rathers. Yeah. Hi, Squishy. Hey, what's up? How's everybody doing? And, um, so I want to actually do this with someone, and he's volunteered. What you am ready? I getting myself into? Are uh, you ready? Yep. Okay. First thing, would you rather have more time or more money? More time or more money? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I would say more time, I guess, because there's never seems to be enough time to do do things that you need to get done. Plus, if you had more time, arguably, you could make more money. You could trick the question. I would rather just have more money, because if I have more money, it'll make it easier to, so I wouldn't have to work as much to have more time. Huh. Yeah, so either way, you could trick the question. Okay. Uh, would you rather win the lottery or live twice as long? Well, you don't know how long you're going to live to begin with, so... I mean, if I'm going to live till 70, I don't think I want to live till I'm 140, so I'm going to say that I'd rather win the lottery. Same here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, would you rather get... Uh, would you rather get stuck on a broken ski lift or an elevator? Definitely... I don't know, man. That's really hard. I would rather have the elevator because I would be able to stand up and stretch. Yeah, but I think with your claustrophobia, though, that it would. But be I know there's idea. two door ways out, and eventually I'll get out of one of them. Yeah, and I mean the ski lift. You're you're literally, you know, sitting there looking down at the ground. And so. And I guess. And I, hopefully, I, I would have I my phone with I me. Guess I'd rather get stuck in an elevator as long as you're there with me. And hopefully, I would have my phone with me so I'd be able to goof off on it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Would you rather be invisible or be able to read minds? Definitely be able to read minds. I would rather be invisible. Mm, really? Yeah. It'd be hard for me to be invisible. I'm really big. <laughs> no, I, I, I would rather read minds. There were many times when I was a kid growing up that I wanted to know what people really thought about me because I felt like they weren't being genuine. So if I could read minds, I'd know. Yeah, but if I was invisible, I can sneak anywhere. Yeah, true. And I, w I wouldn't have to worry about what people th think of me because I'm invisible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, would you would you rather know it all or have it all? Both of those are scary thoughts. Very scary thoughts because I mean, if you know it all then that's just a lot of information to process in your brain but if you have it all then what else is there to look forward to in life okay um i would probably have to say i guess um, i would say i would want to have it all have all that i would ever want well for me it would i would rather have it all because i can actually share with others that way. Yeah, I mean, if you know it all, then everybody's gonna go around going calling you a know it all, and they'll be right. You actually are a know it all. I would, with the thing with know it all, I would actually want to rub it into everyone's face. So. Oh, yeah, knowing you, sure. Um, I would be able to share better with others if I yeah. had it all. Yeah, okay. definitely. Would you rather fly or levitate? Fly? Is, isn't it the same thing? No, the other thing, you're just like above the ground. Fly, you can fly through the air and whatnot. Okay. Um. I would probably go with levitate. Because I don't like flying. I'd say fly. <laughs> I mean, what's the point of just being able to levitate just slightly off the ground? I mean, how can you get anywhere faster, at least with flying? You just be able to, to take off. I don't have to walk. Nah, yeah, okay, I guess so. You don't have to put um, any pressure on your legs or feet or anything. Okay. Would you rather own your own boat? With flying, you'd get much faster, further and faster. <laughs> and you wouldn't have to pay for airline tickets. Okay, you win that one, okay? <laughs> okay. 
Would you rather own your own boat or own your own island? Own your own. How the heck does a boat compare to an island? Well, a boat you can pretty much go anywhere. Yeah, island you're stuck in one spot. Yeah, so I'd, I'd definitely much rather own my own boat. I'm I not would, sure what I'd do with my own island. I would own my own island. Yeah? Because one, you can actually build your home there. You can harvest your own, uh, grow your own food. Yeah. And you don't sure. have to worry about anyone if you don't want to. Okay. Yeah. Go be a hermit. Well, I would take you with me. So no. you would be stuck with me. Oh, well, see, but I'd have my own boat so I could leave whatever the heck I wanted. <laughs> uh, would you rather uh, take a trip down the Amazon River or walk the Great Wall of China? Walk the Great Wall of China. Me too, because um, there will be less um, scary things at the <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, the Amazon River is definitely one of the probably deadliest places in the world as far as wildlife goes. I mean, yeah, just I might have to, alone. Yeah, I might have to see some ghosts or whatnot, but yeah. Mm. Walking the Great Wall of China would be epic. Hey, if you hear a noise in the background, it's most likely our puppy Gizmo um, chewing on something. He should yeah, be. he's got a major attention problem. Yeah. Like me. Okay. Would you rather live in a houseboat or in a cabin in the mountains? Uh, definitely a cabin in the mountains. It's like, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure why I would want to live in a houseboat. Well, it's a cabin. You might be able to have more room and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you wake up and uh, view yeah. amazing view. Yeah, I mean, either way you could have an amazing view. Because you have an amazing view on a houseboat, too. I just don't know if I'd want li to live on the water, like, all the time. Um, would you rather eat as much as you want and never gain weight? Or, mm -hmm. or feel refreshed and well-rested mm -hmm. after only three hours of sleep each night? Hmm. I would rather have like three hours of sleep and feel. Yeah, yeah. Because that'll give me more that. time to do stuff. Yeah, I'd definitely say that. Mm -hmm. um, sure, yeah, definitely. Would you rather. Because, I mean, there's got to be other consequences to eating whatever you want. Even if you don't gain weight, you're still, you're still going to be putting stuff in your body, overloading yourself with, with things you just don't need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be forced to wear wet socks for the rest of your life mm. or wash your hair only once a year? Hmm. I'd probably say wash my hair once a year. Uh, I'd probably just make it really short, keep my hair really short. Because mm -hmm. I can't imagine wearing white so wet socks all the time. Because whenever I, my, I do wear wet socks, my feet, feet typically get like dry, dried out and yeah, even though they're I, painful. Even though I like to wash my hair regularly, I, mean, I, would I have, wouldn't want to be faced with either of them. But if I had to be faced with one, I would probably choose the same thing. Cause even though I like uh, washing my hair regularly, I do not want to wear wet socks. Yeah, it's horrible, especially after a trip at like a um, park, or like um. Yeah. Universal or Disney. Yeah, I mean, typically if or, I know I'm going to do something where I'm getting to get wet, I try to bring an extra pair of socks sometimes anyway so I can just change out. I don't even want to be in a pair of wet socks for like an hour if I can help it. Yeah. Would you <laughs> rather whisper or shout everything? Oh. I would ha rather shout everything that way people can actually hear me because mm. I tend to be a little on the quiet side. So, yeah, I would rather shout it. That way there can be no questions. Of what I mean, I'm either saying. way people are going to be looking at me strange. So I guess I'd rather shout too. So at least I know people are hearing me and they don't have to get like right up close to me so I can whisper everything. I mean, because either way they're going to be looking at me like, what is this guy doing? I'm weird anyway, so it doesn't matter. What is this guy doing? <laughs> okay, would you rather... Uh, 
live in a real version of The Walking Dead or real version of Jurassic Park? I would rather... I'm going to say the real version of Jurassic Park and here's why. Because in Jurassic Park, not every single thing wants to eat you. Yes, there are giant Tyrannosaurus Rexes and Velociraptors or whatever. But the Brontosauruses are nice and, you know, some of the other leaf-eating things. But and what the if it dead, seizes on you? In The Walking Dead, they still have showers. In The Walking Dead, every single Walking Dead wants to eat your brains. So, that would be bad. Yeah, in that aspect. And a lot more people survive in Jurassic Park than in The Walking Dead. How do you know? Because not a lot of people go there. I'm just saying in relative, you know, to how many people are in, you know, the movies versus how many people die. But we're not talking about movies. We're I know we're talking about real life, but you have to have something to compare it to. Um, I, I was thinking The Walking Dead because I keep to shoot things, but... Um, I mean, you can still shoot things if they're trying to kill you in Jurassic Park. Yeah. I would probably go to Jurassic Park, too. Would you rather have infinite battery for your phone or infinite fuel for your um, car? Definitely fuel. I mean, you can recharge your phone all day long, but you can't, like, just magically put fuel without paying money. So yeah, so definitely fuel. I mean, you could go heck, if people had unlimited fuel, first of all, the world economy would be really messed up. But second of all, I mean, we'd all have so much more money in our pockets. Yeah. So, I mean, it would be maybe balance out, but who knows? Would you rather be stuck on a deserted island or lost in a huge unknown forest? Definitely, I'm going to pick the deserted island. I wasn't sure about the answer to this one at first, but after thinking about it, if I'm lost in this forest, you literally will see nothing but like trees for miles and miles, and you won't have any clue where you are. But at least on the deserted island, once you get out to the water, you know that there's water right there, and you at least know where your boundaries and your borders are. So you have a better idea of your bearings. Plus, you do have water. Even though it's salt water, you can always boil it and still drink it. And the forest, who knows if you have any water? I guess you, if it's a rainforest or something, it'll rain, but... I'm still 50-50 on that one, because there's a desert island. You don't know if you have shade or not. Hmm. Yeah, true. True. Maybe you, you don't have enough information to answer the question. Would you rather live... How about being on an unknown forest on a deserted island? Yeah, that's a little freaky. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> uh, would you rather live in a world without electricity or be enslaved by robots? Take me to your leader. I would go live in a world without electricity. Yeah, I don't I don't think I could do it. I couldn't do it. Couldn't go back to candles and well, I've never been there, but I'm just saying I I couldn't see us going back to candles. I definitely would just rather be enslaved by robots. I would simply like Especially if they were robots that like looked like regular people. Well my thinking is, um but this is partially because I like going camping, but um, this, the simple fact that we don't know how hostile robots would be, yeah. but but with uh, mm -hmm. living without electricity, you still can have fire to cook your meals. True. You still have shelter. True. You know, you can actually. And there'd probably actually be a whole lot less, like, conflict and war and things. I mean, you know, back when there was no electricity, sure, people still hurt each other, but they couldn't do it nearly as efficiently as they can today. Yeah. I mean, you uh, wouldn't have nuclear weapons. Yeah, I would have, there would be, probably be bugs and whatnot, but you're going to have bugs no matter what. And robots are a little bit more scarier. 
because they don't have any emotions. Sure, robots can be scary. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they don't have they don't have emotions, so they can't have compassion or empathy. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you rather be able to teleport anywhere or be able to read minds? Teleport. Yeah. Yep. I think before I'd rather have read minds than did something else, but now teleport and trans read minds because who wouldn't want to just say beam me up Scotty every day? It would make it a lot <laughs> easier to travel places. Well, I imagine teleporting might still have a cost. I mean, somebody's going to be doing it for you unless you're just all of a sudden develop some power to be able to teleport by yourself or we're going to apparate like in Harry Potter or something. Would you rather be able to control fire or water? Hmm. I'd probably say water because I'm more of a healer, builder personality rather than a destroyer. Yeah, I'm Water would be cool, but I like fire better. Pyro. And just a little bit. Pyro. We already are. So I guess she'd get really hot and I'd have to put her out. A part of the problem is that um, I like fireworks a lot. It's like cool off. <laughs> and okay, one that I didn't write down. Okay, would you rather be able to live in a Harry Potter universe and be a wizard or live in the Star Wars uh, <laughs> Star Wars universe and be a Jedi. This is like the ultimate question not to ask a geek. I would rather be a um, wizard in Harry Potter. You know, I'm actually going to say I'd rather be a wizard in the Harry Potter world because just because Jedi in particular, there's a lot of, you know, there are a lot of rules. There's a lot of rules in the Yeah, there are, but I mean, and you know, but I mean, Jedi, they, they just they just have a lot of rules and a lot of discipline and things like that. And if I was in the Star Wars world, I don't think I would choose to be a Jedi. I'd probably choose to be something else, but because you added you the Jedi You want to be a thing, Sith? No, I'm saying I wouldn't want to you be a Jedi or some, a Sith. I wouldn't want to no, be. You said Jedi. I would you, be something else, like Han Solo, a smuggler. Yeah, you wouldn't last hmm. unless you had me. <laughs> but, but hey, if I was in Harry Potter, I could say Wingardium Leviosa, and you know. Um, that concludes our. Uh, would you or rather? Abracadabra. Or uh, Oculus Repairo. And fix my glasses if they broke. Yeah, you would need that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but this will end our uh, Would You Rather. If you enjoyed it, uh, comment below and we might do a part two. Oh, and cool. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. And please subscribe if you're not. And I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Toodles.